My name is Fred Draska. I am a senior. I'm the president and chief engineer of the Chippewa Racing Formula SAE team. And my senior design project is the rear suspension on a Formula SAE car. What interests me about the rear suspension is how many kinematic relationships there are within one system. I've always been a fan of kinematics. Wasn't always a huge fan of like thermodynamics and things like that. So as far as kinematics go, it really gave me an opportunity to work with something that I liked. Uh, you have the motion of the push rods, the cantilevers, along with the motion of this added sway bar that we have. So there's a lot of different things in one system that are working together to make the suspension work the way that it should. A lot of the components for this year's suspension will remain the same as last year's suspension. The same components that we're going to use are essentially the push rod, the cantilever, and the shock. We'll be keeping those the same. We'll also be adding a sway bar, which goes through the back, and the sway bar link, which connects the sway bar to the cantilever. One component that is changing, but it's not new, is our toe adjuster is moving from the bottom to the top for easier access. Generally what's changing with the suspension system is that this is all up and down in one plane parallel to a bunch of planes within the chassis. Our new cantilever is actually going to be mounted on an oblique plane farther up here on an angle like this to where the motion of the tire will be going up and it's going to push the cantilever backwards. Our shock is then mounted to the back of the frame and it will be pushed backwards and compressing the shock this way. A major component that's going to be changing here is that we have no sway bar here on the existing car. Next year we'll be incorporating a sway bar which will be attached in the back by two points. It will run the length of the car and it will be connected by a lever to this cantilever which will have a fourth point on it. So when that tire comes up it's going to push the cantilever, push the shock back and ultimately push that uh, roll bar backwards. And when that roll bar pushes backwards it's actually going to go to the other side and put the weight equally on the other shock to keep the car from rolling. Here's the design of the new rear suspension. As you can see we have some of the same components, the push rod, the cantilever, and the shock. They are mounted on an oblique plane, not straight up and down like last year. So that's a new piece. Um, some of the new parts are the sway bar link which actually attaches to the cantilever and then the sway bar which attaches to the back of the frame and when I move this cantilever simulating the tire going up and down it moves the roll bar and creates a torsion in that roll bar to keep the car from rolling so this roll bar is going to put the pressure from this tire onto both of these shocks and it's going to keep the car from rolling so this simulation here is the movement through the entire stroke of the suspension when the car will be driving. For testing of this suspension components, we run FEA on all of our CAD parts before we even make them. So we design them, we run our FEA on these parts uh, based on the material that they're made of, and we make sure that there's no excessive deflection and no yielding in these parts before we even manufacture them. Once we manufacture them, we put them on the car, and we have two weeks of testing devoted before the race even starts, so we drive the car around, and if something does yield, components on this suspension are pretty easy to remake. As far as the timeline goes for this project, we started at the beginning of this year for our design phase. It's a two-year, two-semester senior design project and the first semester is for design and the second semester is devoted to manufacturing. Our manufacturing will be done within the first month of us getting back to school. So our design portion is pretty much done and we are actually working on how we're going to manufacture some of these components for next semester.